Hey guys, this is Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another digital piece and this might be slightly familiar to you if you were here during October or October 2016. If you've been watching me or perhaps watched my videos during that time, you might be familiar with this particular drawing. So during October, I focused a lot on line art and I did very little colored works. I didn't do a lot of colored pens or inks, like very, very sparse. So I had a lot, of, a lot of line art, a lot of concepts in there that I wanted to do again. So you'll see here on the lower right hand of the screen is an excerpt or a, a quick preview of what I did. So this particular piece is actually a joint again from way, way back. I might show another preview somewhere around here that has the very original piece. So yeah, I it's a third joint again. So it was like 2000 and something, like 8 or something, and then 2016, and now we're seeing the 2017 version, which is digital and colored, and yeah. So, um, since the sketch or edit lines was mostly done, I just need to make some edits like with anatomy or with the line art or how some things are placed. Uh, a slight improvement from last year. And I had a lot of fun actually. And the goal of this piece was mainly to practice certain techniques. Mostly dealing with shadows and colors and highlights. So I'll be using a little bit of highlighting around here and there. And I didn't really you know, go jump into god tier shading coloring, but it certainly improved. It's my coloring and shading technique is improving in general, and doing this particular piece helped me focus a little bit more on it. So this is actually on super speed. In total, the footage amounts to six hours ish, like a little bit less, but around six hours of footage. And I didn't even notice it took me that long since I streamed it like five times and like one hour each or an hour and 54 minutes for one of them, an hour and 30 and stuff like that. So I didn't really feel the stress of the six hours in one sitting, mainly because I don't really have six hours all the time to work on a single piece. So yeah. So I did notice though that my coloring technique, especially with the skin, is a little bit more detailed or refined like usually i wouldn't really bother fixing the highlights of the cheek or i wouldn't really define the cheek at all you only see it because of the line art but this time if you as you can see i occasionally switch out the line art you can actually see the facial features which is something i've been trying to achieve for a while um i can do it with watercolor but i haven't been able to do it properly in digital works so the color scheme for this night san, night kun, night person, night, the color him night. Um, the, the color scheme for this night was pretty random. I just chose, I wanted, okay, the thing is, originally in 2016, I was imagining like maybe a blonde haired blue eyed knight or maybe like a sandy brown and blue eyes. And then when I was coloring him, for some reason, I wanted to use orange eyes. Which turned out pretty nice. And I just chose colors that would sort of match with this eye color. And brown is a color that I don't really use a lot. And it matches well with the orange, so that's what I went with. I really like though. Like if you see, I'll put it, I, I put it up earlier. Uh, the original line art for this was like he was a little bit more. Ah, shut up, computer. Yes, yes. I should really mute you right now. Because I'm recording, I don't need you beeping around. Yeah. So, where was I? Okay, in the original line art, the knight looked a little bit more like typical princely prepper proper knight. But for some reason, I started coloring him in and doing this line art. He looks a little bit more roguish and like slightly more tussled, uh, wildish knight. Because to me, sort of a lot better than the usual prim and proper knight. So his outfit, if you haven't, I mean if you haven't noticed, it was slightly inspired by Chrome from Fire Emblem Awakening. Uh, mainly 
<laughs> a lot of the parts actually. Uh, I don't know why. I just really like Chrome's asymmetrical design and that's the type of design that I tend to gravitate to. Uh, so you have the shoulder cape-ish thing and the belt buckle across the chest. That's the only thing I actually referenced from Chrome, I think. But I don't really know why it looks like Chrome. If, since when I drew Inktober, Awakening was well released by that time and I haven't really played Awakening. I've played Heroes though, but that was recently released, so it was partly coincidence and partly I really just like Chrome's outfit design. To be fair, Fire Emblem has really good outfit designs. Especially Awakening and um, Fates. Really good designs. Or rather, their designs are to my aesthetic. <laughs> but of course, I'm not gonna rip off Chrome or anything. So I changed the color scheme, made things a little bit more different than what Chrome is wearing. And of course, it's not as detailed as what Chrome is wearing. I don't have the multitude of belts on this night person. I had a lot of fun though. The only part that I got lazy with was with his armor, which is weird because I like drawing shiny metal things in the shield. Uh, I guess because they're like huge, um, they're pretty huge, kind of flat ish color, and they're a little bit of a pain to make it look shiny. <laughs> Unlike with gold, like the gold trimming, it's just a little bit of white here, and a little bit of orange here, and it looks shiny. But with metal, or even silver for that matter, it needs a lot of gradation with the with the highlights and it needs to be like shiny and I wasn't really in the mood for that. Though I did try to power through that somewhere later in the video. I'm sorry if you hear the creaking, that's my chair. It's a new chair but because it can lay back a little. It tends to creak a little more when I move. I just try to stay still. <laughs> Though that's a little bit impossible for me to do. Okay, so the next thing... I might do a thing sometime. And I'm, I kind of want to do a practice with me video. That's a slightly not a speedy painty thing. But more slightly closer to real time video that... It's not really a tutorial, but just, hey, draw with me, practice with me this particular topic today. Because personally, I have a lot of things I want to practice, and I really need to up the, like, how often I draw. Especially with digital works, because traditionally, I have, I have had a good amount of training with one of my art classes. But digitally, I really need to up my game a little. So, I want to practice first things first. Um, like using hues or different colors for your shadows because typically um, beginners or well a lot of people when they color they would use like if it's blue they're gonna use like a darker blue as it's but it's in the same tone or hue what I want to do is what I want to do with watercolor with watercolor I sometimes would use what's in the background so for example with this piece or just the main background I would sort of overlay a very thin wash of orange on top of like the shadowy parts and that would pile up together until they form a very nice integrated shadow and it would make everything look like they're in the same setting. But the thing is, I haven't really figured out how to do that digitally. Though Bailey J, one of the famous art YouTubers here, uh, she did eight, like six steps recently on do's and don'ts with coloring. And she did mention that particular technique and I asked how you would do that digitally because it's easy to do with chat because you just need to grab the colors that you already have. But with digital, it tends, it tends to turn murky. And then someone replied that I should use the hue and overlay options. So I might try that out. Either way, with the practice with me videos, I plan to... Well, I still have to figure it out properly and how I'm gonna produce that, but uh, I want to do like hues and colors and then like anatomy and um, 
highlights, shadows, like the whole shebang. So it's not gonna be a tutorial, but just like, hey, let's fail together. Haha. <laughs> no, we will succeed. Let's practice together. And I think that would be pretty cool. I think. I'm not. We'll see how it turns out. So right now we're doing some orange highlights just to type in with everything else because I read this in a tutorial recently and it was at the height of the free swimming anime thing and to create highlights that makes it integrate with the rest of the background was to use the color of your background so since orange is my main color I'm using a bit of orange in certain places though as you can see I still need to learn how to implement that properly, and that might be one of the things I'll practice in the future. We are nearing the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe or like if you enjoyed this. Uh, follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.